Amen. And somebody told you some lie that it means so be it. It never meant so be it and it still doesn't mean so be it. Amen was the god of the north in Egypt. Ra, symbolized by the sun, was the god in the south. And when Egypt unified herself, they combined the god of the north and the god of the south into the one and thus Amen Ra. A-M-E-N hyphen R-A. Amen, Rob. That's interesting. You, did you know his first name was Amen? That's why you say Amen when you end your prayers, because it's uh, you're saying, well, so be it. It doesn't mean that. Amen is the name of the Egyptian sun god, and it's an homage to the god Amen. Uh, and in the great temples of Egypt, they would always uh, chant out Amen, Amen, Amen. And in fact, and Jesus calls himself the Amen in Revelation 3 something, 3, 16, I believe it is, in which he then identifies himself as the Egyptian sun god. And you're going to say, oh, hey, come on, now you've gone too far. Jesus wasn't the Egyptian sun god. Matthew 2 says Mary and Joseph took the child Jesus to Egypt to fulfill the prophecy, out of Egypt have I called my son. Hmm. On this because black people think that everything in the Bible is true. I question the intelligence of anyone who thinks everything in the Bible is true or supposed to be true. <laughs> <laughs> it's allegory told stories told to illustrate a point at a time when there were very few people reading books and most of what you went into the making of the Bible was copied from Egyptian texts now if you want to get so dewy eyed over the Bible which is, which is a carbon copy of a carbon copy why don't you go back and read the original Egyptian text where did the story of Jesus start? It started 4,100 years before Jesus. It started with the story of Isis and who became pregnant by an immaculate conception, gave birth to her son Horus by a virgin birth. Dr. Uh, John G. Jackson and his book, Christianity Before Christ, tells us, and even Church Ward tells us. Now, let's look at Horus. Horus had two mothers, Isis, the virgin who conceived him, Nephetite, who nursed him. He was brought forth singly as one of the five brothers. Let's look at the life of Jesus. Jesus had two mothers, Mary, uh, the virgin who conceived him, and Mary, the wife of Cleophas, who brought him forth as one of her children. Horus was the son of Seth, his father on earth. Jesus was the son of Joseph, his father on earth. Let's look at Horus now. Horus was with his mother, the virgin, until 12 years old, when he was transformed into the beloved son, the God, as the only begotten of the Father in heaven. Jesus remained with the mother, the virgin, up until the age of 12, when he left her to be about his father's business. From 12 to 30 years of age, there is no record in the life of Horus. From 12 to 30 years of age, there is no record in the life of Jesus. <laughs> and Horus, at 30 years of age, became a dog, his baptism by Newt. Jesus, at 30 years of age, was made a man in his baptism by John the Baptist. Horus in his baptism uh, made his transformation into the beloved son, the only begotten of the Father, the Holy Spirit, represented by a bird. Jesus in his baptism is held from heaven as the beloved son and the only begotten of the Father, the God, the Holy Spirit, that is represented by a dove. 